Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Dredge. For last episode, I was debating about going back and delivering the large package. I think we're going to keep it in storage for now, and instead start exploring the Twisted Strand for an area. It's like, it's looking really biz... Something moved back there. It's looking like a really strange area. And I'm wondering if maybe we're meant to have the, like... Uh, the banish word to protect us going forward. Okay, so we've got Sergeant Fish. We'll start getting a few of these just to flesh out the encyclopedia. That was just blocked off while... Oh, this is going to be creepy. Okay, well, I've already caught these, so you know what? God, this is going to be a creepy place to work from. Wait, is this... Is this supposed to be like a boat trap? It's like, that's a suspended bear trap in the air. Okay, now let me... get from here and then do a little bit more exploring. Oh, I got a gar. Nope. A clawfin gar. Crooked talons hang from its fins. Periodically, they shudder and come together, grasping like a hand. Yeah, again, I don't think I want to be catching or selling stuff like that. I wonder if I can talk to the merchant here and get any info on what the Twisting Strand is like. Okay, sell, 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 sell. There we go, up to over a thousand, so that's good there. Merchant. Uh, why can you tell me about Twisted Strand? Not much, to be honest. I've gone inside just once. I sailed in that lagoon behind us and saw I could go left, right, or straight ahead. Mm. Something about the place seemed off. Through the fog, it looked like the trees were moving. I can't explain it. Turned around and sailed right back out. Sometimes use a spot to rest up for a few days. Sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. So I'm guessing there's not going to be any ports for that to, like, go through stuff. It might just be navigate your way in and find what the collector wants. Are you always out on the water? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. Merchanting is secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveler. I see a lot of places, which is nice. I also got to meet a lot of people, which is only sometimes nice. Okay. Now, do I want to try navigating the strand at night, or... What do I want to do? I was like, again, this thing... I swear, it looks like a boat trap. What the hell is that? Uh-oh. I want... Could I... Is it possible to lure this... Oh, lord. Ow. Okay, so... Do not get seen by the weird thing in the... Okay, not what I was expecting to happen. So I don't know if it's like... I kind of want to keep experimenting with this, because this one seems like it's a little more difficult to read than the, uh... Okay, R. Repair that. This one seems like it's a little different than the other ones that we've encountered for, like, the monsters. Like, the anglerfish that chases you out in the open area makes... It's kind of easy to read there. This one almost seems like... Does it sense I'm here? It does. Okay, so can I draw you over to, like, here? Nope. Well, if I was watching where I was going, I could have avoided that. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to use the trap for it. So those might be traps actually meant for the player to have to be careful of. 
And maybe that one's in the open is kind of like a teaching thing of, yeah, these are out here. Don't get hit by them. <laughs> I think I'll want to rest till the new day and then head out. So this one at least seems like you have a lot of counterplay you could possibly be dealing with. But I do see like little spots where they're almost like campfires. Yeah, there's that there. Oh, that's just in the water on its own, so no, those are... Okay, well, we got a bottle with a, me a message. Oh, see, it's following along, so... Oh. Well, thankfully, the mushrooms don't seem to be damaging. Okay, that's just Sergeant Fish we've caught before. Oh, but you are keeping right on us. Uh, oh, this probably needs explosives, doesn't it? Loose debris, clear to make a shortcut. Don't have any more explosives, so I'll have to try picking some more up from the merchant. I don't see where our stocking thing went. Yeah, see, there's like a little spot there. Okay, that's just more gar. I can't actually tell if I can, like... Oh, there's... Oh, okay, hang on. We got signposts. I... Oh, okay, it's not an eye. It's, I think, a down plane or something. Oh, yeah, so... Oh! There's something important here. It... I'm not sure what it is, though. It almost looks like a gun. A mortar barrel. Okay. It's important somehow, because... I mean, that... Like, Golden Glow... I can only think that the reason why it had it is that it's going to be used for something. I, okay, I just got myself out of the Strands area, so I think I've got to try following the signposts. Maybe I have to go and, like, actually collect stuff from each of the, uh, plane wrecks that are in there, because there's at least two down planes stuck in all that mess. And you know what, just because I did catch the fish. Sell that and on my way. Okay. Alright, so I gotta be careful of the weird, like, scout thing that lurks in the water. I gotta pay attention to the signpost, because it says... Okay, go right, and then left. Yeah, see that thing... Oh, there's something there. Although that might just be another message in a bottle. I don't think I want to go through the hoop. Here we go. Okay, so there is actually something here. Oh. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you encounter local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them mind suckers, on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I asked you for safe passage away from here, not until after I've avenged my squadron. What happened to them? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those who survived rallied here, under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends in the forest. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? Let's give... I mean, if we can blow these guys out of here, then it'll probably help us in the long run, too. I figured you'd be up for it. You you have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Hmm. Other planes went down the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? You need to find the lost piece of my squadron's mortar. Yes, yeah, so I've got the barrel. How you honor your squad mates? Hmm. I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. Seemed fitting enough. 
I've only got tags from one's eye. You must understand, I never found all of their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tanks, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads you might find useful. Take this one, good bait. Two more for me. So this will be a good way to get some research parts. Okay. Tell me about the mine suckers. Devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways, merge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. First time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates, reaching out me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, was covered in bloody scratches, and also sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so we got the mortar. Maybe I'll put it in car or in storage just so I don't lose it. Along with the research part. And okay, actually, we'll see if we can find the other bit for the mortar. Oh, come on, get the lights on. Uh, let me catch whatever this is. Oh, a long finial. I was just gonna say it's a bit of a strange spot given it's like in the tree root. Ah, uh, see, yeah, I'm going to need more explosives. So it definitely seems like you were meant to initially start with uh, the Gale Cliffs. Nope. Oh. Now, if I don't move, is it going to come after me, or is it just going to... Yeah, no, it doesn't seem to care at all. Interesting. So that's how you can beat them easily. Oh, the one thing that is a little strange is, like, the whips of vines that come up. I don't know if it's, like, the... After a certain point, it's seen you, it summons them, or what? Hmm. Well, we can sell these off for a bit of money. I thought I put that into storage, didn't I? Okay, maybe I accidentally took it back out. But what I can do is stop with the, uh, shipyard... Yeah, and buy some of the explosives. I probably should look at getting back the Gale Cliffs and just stocking up on a whole bunch of them, because they're going to see use eventually, but... And I think if I go off to the sign... Oh, oh. Yeah, so we'll wait. Once it's submer... Oh, actually, I don't know if I can go to the left. Oh no, wait, I think it's I have to go right and deeper in. Oh. Now this way opened up. Okay. And now this way opened up. Oh, okay, here we go, and that's the shortcut I was going to blow open, so it's not necessary to have them. Okay. Uh, let me just quickly look at, like, some of the messages, because yeah, I've got a lot that I've been building up. So, tire receipt from Goldsmith and Son. See the sum of $50, zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Receipt for three dollars for custom engravings on reverse mounting. Customer return tomorrow for collection. Engraving to be as follows for J, my shining star. Okay, interesting. Uh, mystery one. Feels like years since I've been warm. I don't expect him to write. Just need to know what he thinks from me from time to time. Next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More anger smudging follows. Written him another letter. This will be the last one. And then one from uh, September 14th, 1927. I've not written in a few days. I've been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I've not seen keep warm no matter what I do. I has run from some lines here. They are legible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large one casket. A hush came over the crew with such tantalizing discovery. Remember the next one was with excruciatingly with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. Buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. Crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down in the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes I saw the void, and the page had been torn off from there. And one from the seventh of March, nineteen twenty seventh. Or 6th and 7th. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. 
We talked for hours, something we've not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Sometime past, or sometime past midnight, as we were going delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he already's down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. Yes. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel the news is significant enough to warrant manning multiple entries. Interesting. So, I think the ring in question is what we had just delivered to the collector. So, I wonder if he's trying to get, like, relics back from... Uh, like... Oh, jeez. Okay, no, these are just a natural occurrence here, I guess. Oh, hang on, I see a golden glow. That might be the other mortar piece we need. I think it is. Yeah, looks like that's a mortar stand. The mortar frame. Okay, well, frame, stand, etc. Although one thing I'm noticing is I don't see the big crimson glow in the sky. Oh, but we've got a thing here we can interact with. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Place your hand on the stone. A sun shell rushes through the marrow of your bones, searching up your arm. A deep vision enters your mind. A man flees through the trees. Bloodshot eyes wide with terror. He runs into a dead end. Cornered by the murky waters and his pursuer, he turns. A wooden spear flies and finds its mark. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's a hint to the airmen we're helping actually was the one who killed some of his brothers. Oh, well, I guess more brothers in arms than real brothers, but you guys know what I'm trying to say there. Okay, get rid of that. And you know what? I think I'm going to blow this way open just because it will probably save us a bit of time. Actually, no, no. You know what? No, I'm going to save the explosives. And they're pretty hard to come by outside of the uh, Gale Cliffs, so... Yeah, if possible, I'm just going to try to get the long way around. Pick up the other mortar piece, and then we'll have that part of this little step done. Oh, and I... Damaged one of our engines pretty badly. You're not going to open up for me, are you? No, nope, no, nope, you are. Oh god, we're so slow now. Well, it's a good thing I got to pick up the other uh, mortar piece back in storage anyway. Yeah, let's stop, grab what we need, and then we'll go visit the airmen and see what the next step is for it all. Okay, let's repair everything. There we are. My storage. Bring that out. And we're going to continue on our way. Okay, so let's get back in and deliver this. Now, I wonder if the mortar is only going to have a use here, or we could put it to use in other spots, because, I mean, it's a freaking mortar. Okay, stop. Let it do what it's going to do there. Yeah, my guess is we're going to be using the mortar just to, like, attack those things and deal with them the deeper we try getting into the area. through the loop, and back to see the airmen. How are things going? I found parts of the mortar. That's the lot. Now, while working on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may notice some contraptions of the lagoons around here. I assembled those traps for the mine suckers. You just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. The mark locations of traps on your map. Got it? How do we get them into the traps? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Their skills can come in handy here yet again. 
how did you make the traps? With patience. Creatures only seem to sense movement, so whenever one was close, I froze. Uh, is it safe? Mm. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, basically, it makes sense there. Okay, so what's next? You need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay, so bait for the first one. Three fish of the... from the area to make. Okay, so a gar and two of the... That's no problem. Okay, what about the second? Two fish from the area to make. Okay, that's not... So, look, just looks like old fish from this area so far. So it shouldn't be too bad. Whereas two fish from... Yeah, I can get these, no problem. Okay, so that's what I'll focus on doing right now, then. Uh, are there any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Okay, that's interesting. So I don't know what we'll need to find for the collector, but it's going to be somewhere in all of this mess of stuff. Okay, no, we're not looking for treasures. We need the fish. Yeah, we need some of you. I think I need three of these total. So there are those. I know I need some cap... Or, yeah, I need a... I think it's one gar. So there's that one, and then I know I also need the long fin and the catfish. But I think I found the long fin from, yeah, this school here. All I need to do is get a couple of them and we're good. Okay, let's see about the baits. Because we can at least get a couple of them done now. How are things going? Let's talk about baiting the traps. Okay, so I've got for the first one. That should do it. I'll just mix these in. Here, load this into a trap and then get well clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that thing's really dead. You hear? So we'll need that. Uh, for the last one. Actually, these two fit perfectly like that. That should do it. Mix these in, and load this into trap, and get well clear. Uh, where do I put the bait? One of the traps constructed in the lagoons, they're marked on your map. That's all for now. That's everything. Oh, I wonder... I think the dredging sites in this map, maybe that's where I get the dog tags from. Shoot. I'm not really doing any better driving the boat, am I? But you know what? Okay, let me see about this. Large cage suspended, low trap with the bait. Yeah, let's back our way up. And let's watch the fireworks. Trapped. Hold in place. And there we go. And then we have to collect something from it, too. Inside the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. The animal will want proof of your success. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Grizzly, but it is what we are after. So just so we don't have this big hunk taking up too much room, let's go deliver it to the airman. How are things going? I have a creature corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You have the tower lump of flesh the airman. It's almost unrecognizable. Now you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. Pokes that with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes. This is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go though. Okay, yeah, so that's everything for now, and I think we'll save and end our episode right here for now. Pretty interesting, uh, way of work in this one, like having all the different maze-like parts of it, but 
I don't know where we're going to find the, like, collectible for the collector in here, so... There's still a bit more done. We've got two more traps to set off and let the beast get mortared. And just see what else lurks here, but... I think the big one that's going to probably take some time will be the Devil's Spine with, like, the shrines to light up. But we'll see how it goes there. For now, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the Dredge. If you did like the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I do see you in the next video or episode, Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.